Wow. There he is. There he is again. Mesner Lobes. That's Bill. You don't know Bill, but you've probably seen his work. And I uh, was put on to Flash and uh, eventually Wonder Woman, Thor, uh, the Batman newspaper strip. Bill was born with a cancerous tumor the size of a fist, and his right arm was amputated when he was a baby. His talent flows only out of his left hand. I have only had one hand since I was 13 days old. I didn't do a lot of sketching before then. It hasn't stopped him from succeeding as a cartoonist, last year winning a major award at San Diego's Comic-Con and seeing his name in the blockbuster Wonder Woman. Oh, and one more thing about Bill. He's homeless. This is, this is um, your car, but this is also home. Like, more or less. Bill was a rising star in D.C. back in the early 90s, and life got particularly good when MTV made a series out of one of his comics. Hey, Max, it's getting harder and harder to buy you out of here. I heard you almost bit off Baker's finger this time. I did. You say, well, uh, well, there was all that money, Bill. Uh, what happened? Well, my mom got sick, my, my wife got sick. Uh, a home is, a, uh, is, a, is basically a well-built hole into which you pour money. And it doesn't take long once there, once, uh, there isn't any money to, to go through what money you've saved. The recession hit the comic book industry especially hard. And the whole house of cards just collapsed. We lost three quarters of the comic book stores in this country, and most of the independent uh, companies. The work dried up, and they moved into a mobile home. Then, a few months ago, a gas leak triggered a chain of events that forced them out of there. And right now, all of our stuff is, is still in the home. We're storing as much stuff as we can to be able to... Now working part-time for Panera and doing the occasional drawing, Bill bounces between churches and his car. We'll just dump all this stuff here on the ground and... It hasn't been easy. It's... This is all stuff, this is in your free time. Yeah. You just kinda. I just do it. You see, Bill is really good. He's cutting edge, introducing one of the first gay characters to DC in 1991. That had pretty much never been said before. Um, you wrote that. I wrote that. You never know exactly what's gonna work and what doesn't. But... And others that have taken on a different meaning over time. Bliss Alley is a, a comic book that I actually did about the homeless before I became one. Part of, part of life's little irony. Here's what's remarkable about Bill. He doesn't want you to feel bad for him. He just wants you to understand him. You're two paychecks from living on the street. Um, or if you really manage your money well like you, you know, three paychecks. After I met Bill, I had this nagging feeling that I knew him. So I went to my parents' house, into the basement, to dig out my old comic books. Wow. And right there, in my there personal is. collection, was Bill's name. Lobes. In a way, when I look at these, I, uh, get a little emotional because I remember these comic books. I remember sitting on my front porch on Saturday evening reading these comic books with my dad. So the guy who put together the stories that I read with my dad, that guy is homeless.
Now he finds himself in need of help again. A home would certainly be nice, but actually a job, an actual job in, in artwork. And a little compassion and kindness, well, that wouldn't hurt either. Then I, I, write out I think a lot of the fact that we don't have compassion has to do with the fact that we have so many alternative facts about people floating around. Our ideas of what the homeless really are like, what people who are disabled really are like, that's so much different than the image that, that people end up with. I think that would go a long way to making the world a better place. Yeah, I grew up on comic books. So I went to mom and dad's house and I dug around the basement. Did you? And, uh, and I found these. Well, look at that. Would you like me to sign it for you? I can't think of anything better than having that. Thank you, Bill. <laughs> you bet, Derek. Thank you.